is with great pleasure that I bring greetings on behalf of the Gabriel Dumont Institute family to the order of Gabriel Dumont Silver and Gold Awards Ceremony. It feels good to be part of today's celebration of excellence. GDI has come a long way over the past 41 years. Our success as individuals, communities we live in and of the Métis Nation is greatly influenced by our ability to unlock the potential of all members of our homeland. Just last year, we marked GDI's 40th anniversary by celebrating together in Saskatoon. But this year, things have changed and we celebrate together virtually instead. What hasn't changed is our desire to recognize selfless individuals for their dedication, commitment, and outstanding contributions and achievement. The Order of Gabriel Gilmont Silver and Gold Awards are presented to persons who have provided distinctive service to the Métis of Canada. Tonight, we invest five inductees into the Order of Gabriel Gilmont Silver and Gold Awards. The awards are important, not just because they celebrate outstanding achievement, but also because they remind us that it is possible for each person to reach their full potential. By recognizing and celebrating this year's inductees, we encourage others to follow along the same path. Success and service leads to more success and service in a virtuous circle. On behalf of GDI and the Métis Nation, I would like to offer my sincere thanks and congratulations to this year's new inductees into the Order of Gabriel Dumont. There are now a total of 78 individuals invested into the Order of Gabriel Dumont. They are all well deserving of our admiration. I would like to congratulate each individual. Good evening to the Meiji community and friends of the Gabriel Dumont Institute. What a special evening to be able to come, to come together virtually to recognize important leaders and contributions to our Meiji nation. The Order of Gabriel Dumont Awards were started in the 1980s to recognize those individuals who have provided outstanding service to the Meiji of Canada. The award has always been made without regard to ethnicity, but rather for consideration of a person's contributions. Investment in the Order is one of the Métis Nation's highest civilian honours. Tonight, we recognize Silver and Gold Medal recipients for 2021. The Silver Medal is presented to those who have made a significant contribution to the Métis. Recipients of the Silver Medal include community leaders, activists, artists, business person, and contributors active in the Métis community, Métis economic development, and other facets of Métis life. Their contributions to the Métis have been significant, have spanned over a number of years, and may have been in a number of areas, or focus more on a single area, such as economic development or artistic activities. Recipients of the silver medals tend to be those who are still active in their endeavors to contribute to the Métis. I would now like to announce Order of Gabriel Dumont Silver Medal recipient, Gregory Schofield. Gregory Schofield is Machif of Cree, Scottish, and European immigrant descent whose ancestry can be traced to the Métis community of Kinnesota, Manitoba, and to Bacon Ridge, a former Métis road allowance community that is now part of the Ebb and Flow First Nation. He has taught creative writing and First Nations and Métis literature at Laurentian University, Brandon University, Emily Carr University of Art and Design, and the Alberta University of the Arts. He currently holds the position of Associate Professor in the Department of Writing at the University of Victoria. Schofield won the Dorothy Livesey Poetry Prize in 1994 for his debut collection, The Gathering, Stones for the Medicine Wheel, and has since published seven further volumes of poetry, including Witness I Am. He has served as writer in residence at the University of Manitoba, the University of Winnipeg, and Memorial University of Newfoundland. He was the recipient of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal in 2012, and most recently, the Writers Trust of Canada Latner Poetry Prize in 2016, that was awarded to a mid-career poet in recognition of a remarkable body of work. Further to writing and teaching, Schofield is also a skilled beadworker, and he creates in the mediums of traditional Métis arts. He continues to assemble a collection of mid to late 19th century Cree Métis artifacts, which are used as learning and teaching pieces. 
Schofield's first memoir, Thunder Through My Veins, was republished in the fall of 2019. Thanks, everyone. I'm so um, honored. I'm so very, very happy to be here today and to share my, my thoughts on this most incredible um, award. I've been thinking a lot uh, since, since I got the news about this award. I've, of course, been thinking a lot about this award, and I've been thinking a lot about the significance of this award. The most meaningful honor, of course, is one that comes from your own community. It's an honor that means so much more than really any award. It's an acknowledgement that you've done good work and that you've lifted up your community in a good way. We've always been community, connected through our natural laws, our kinship ties, and of course, our geography, our history, where we come from. In Cree and Michif, we live by the philosophy of Wahkotuin, which is this idea of how we are all related, how we're all connected. So this award is so much more than, than just recognition. For me, this award is about home. It's, it's about family. And it's about keeping those community fires burning. I'm so grateful for the home at Gabriel Dumont Institute and for the dear friends and colleagues that I've made over the years. My journey began at GDI so many years ago as a student, a student, in fact, that was lost and looking to find home. I'm truly, truly thankful for this award. I am so grateful. Marcy, my heart is full. My late mom would be so incredibly proud of this honor. So once again, thank you. Thank you, Marcy. Thank you. I'd like to announce the order of Gabriel Dumont Silver Medal recipient, William Will Goodon. William Neil Goodon is a proud citizen of the Métis Nation. Will was instrumental in securing recognition of Section 35 rights of the Métis in Manitoba through the case of R versus Goodon. He is currently the Minister of Housing for the Manitoba Métis Federation and serves on the National Steering Committee for Innovation in Indigenous Housing. He has worked extensively on the development of the Métis government, and he played a significant role in the development of the Manitoba Métis Federation. Goodon is also a successful Métis entrepreneur, owning and operating several motels in southwestern Manitoba. Beyond his work in Manitoba, Will has served the Métis Nation across the homeland for more than a decade, chairing the Legislative and General Assemblies of Saskatchewan and British Columbia, facilitating numerous national, regional, and local consultations and meetings, and representing the Métis Nation internationally on land and resource matters. In his spare time, he spends his days with his dad at a log cabin the two of them built in the Turtle Mountains, hunting and cutting firewood. Hello, my name is Will Goodon, and I am a citizen of the Métis Nation, and my home community is the Turtle Mountains. First, I want to express what an honor this is for me. I'm not even sure how I can explain how much it really means to me. When I walked into the doors of the Manitoba Métis Federation 25 years ago, I had no idea what was in store for me and the doors that would be open for me. And to be alongside the other recipients this year for the 2021 Order of Gabriel Dumont ceremony is absolutely humbling. I value the friendship and leadership in particular of Senator Nora and Greg, who are so, so deserving. <clears throat> but also, I would like to extend my congratulations to Wayne and Dennis and Jean as well. I just wanted to show you the Order of Gabriel Dumont that I received, which I am so proud of. It's going to be in a prominent place in my house. I guarantee you that. And I want to say that there are so many people to thank. Um, I hope that I won't miss anyone. 
I want to also say these are in absolutely no particular order. I want to thank my nominator, Kathy Hodgson Smith, who not only put this together, but has become my friend, my colleague, my confidant, and dare I say it, she is like a sister to me. I cannot say thank you enough to the two gentlemen who wrote supporting letters, Presidents Clem Chartier and David Chartrand. When they say we achieve things because we stand on the shoulders of giants, I know I would not be here without the friendship, guidance, and sometimes a firm lecture from these men who I think of as brothers. And of course, my elder and the guy who sings some crazy mischief songs, past president Jimmy D, also my brother from another mother, Albert Beck, and my little brother who still teaches me so very much, Brad Boudreaux. Thank you all so much for your letters of support. To my cabinet colleagues on the MMF cabinet, you still teach me every day and I have learned so much. To the staff I have worked with at the MMF, you still inspire me to do my very best. And the Métis citizens in Manitoba who I have the honour to serve, I am in your debt for your confidence, support and direction. Family is one of the most important parts of our Métis culture and I need to express my undying appreciation to my mom and dad who always believed in me even when most everyone else had given up on me too many times to count. Thank you mom and thank you dad. To my partner in life and best friend Dr. Kelly Saunders who drives me crazy but makes me a better person because she also believes in me and we are blessed to have two of the best kids in the world who are making their own names and will surpass me if they haven't already Hunter and Taylor. Thank you all so much for putting up with me. I want to finish off with a message that needs to be repeated over and over again. We must stand for and be ready to be counted in the battle for the integrity of the Métis Nation. Our nation is coming into a new age. It was not that long ago that many of our people denied their heritage out of fear. That is not the case today, and this is thanks to the leaders who were willing to give their all for us who followed behind them. We cannot let their struggles be in vain. Do not be afraid to fight for your nation and to carry on the legacy bestowed upon us by our great leaders like Gabriel Dumont. Be proud to be Métis. Raise our flag to let it be known who we are. Protect our families and protect our nation. Vive la nation Métis. Thank you very, very much. The Order of Gabriel Dumont Gold Medal recognizes those who have distinguished themselves with outstanding service to the Métis. The Gold Medal is awarded based on lifetime achievements and services. Past winners have provided the Métis with a lifetime of outstanding service in such areas as education, politics, healthcare, community development, and culture. Many made lasting contributions affecting future generations of Métis, including decisions instrumental in securing our legal rights, while others have made a difference on the community front. I congratulate tonight's recipients on being selected for the Order of Gabriel Dumont. I look forward to seeing your names added alongside the list of prestigious persons who are already members of the Order. I would like to announce Order of Gabriel Dumont Gold Medal recipient, Wayne McKenzie. Wayne McKenzie has over 40 years of experience in Métis government and public sector change management. As a public sector employee for over 10 years in the Saskatchewan Government Department of Intergovernmental Affairs, he negotiated and facilitated over 100 employment development agreements between the government, private sector, unions, and Indigenous organizations. During the 1970s and 80s, Wayne held many positions with the Association of Métis and Non-Status Indians of Saskatchewan, including Executive Director, Vice President, Southwest Regional Director and Local President. During his terms as the Executive Director and Vice President, he led and facilitated institutional capacity building in education, economic development and housing, resulting in the establishment of the Gabriel Dumont Institute, the Sask Métis Economic Development Corporation and the Gabriel Housing Corporation. Wayne is an advocate for Métis rights and was a participant in international lobbying efforts for the repatriation of Canada's constitution and the inclusion of Indigenous rights. 
In the 1980s, he was a key advisor and member of the negotiating team to the Amnesty's president and Métis National Council representative Jim Sinclair, resulting in the subsequent recognition of Canada's Métis people in the Canadian Constitution. Thank you for the order of the Gabriel Dumont Gold Award. I am truly honoured to receive it. As I understand it, the Order of Gabriel Dumont is awarded by the Gabriel Dumont Institute to persons who have served the Métis of Canada with distinction. So therefore, it is an even greater honour to be placed in such prominent company of past Order of Gold honorees, many of whom were colleagues of mine at one time or another, all of whom have made important contributions to Métis life in Saskatchewan and Canada. Some of these alumni that I had the pleasure of, of knowing and working with include people like Rod Bishop, Clarence Campbell, Harry Daniels, Patel Morin, Clovis Renier, Agnes Stanley, and lastly, my dear friend and esteemed colleague, Jim Sinclair. Special thanks go to, to close associates and friends who had the generosity to nominate me to Karen LaRock, Vice President of Firm 33 Regina, NDP MLA for Athabasca, Buckley Belanger, Canada Senior, uh, Senator Marty Klein, and long-serving Métis senior activist and author, Cecile Klein. So how do I convey the importance of what this award means to me? In April 1976, the Association of Métis and Non-Status Indians of Saskatchewan held a provincial cultural conference in Saskatoon with the goal of finding a way to give Métis and non-status Indian people a say in the preservation, respect, promotion, and enhancement of their Indigenous culture. The objective was to create an Indigenous-controlled education and cultural institution for Métis and non-status Indians. AMSIS lobbied the government of Saskatchewan and with support from like thinkers in the Blaketon Cabinet on September 20th, 1980, the Gabriel Dumont Institute of Native Studies and Applied Research was realized. I was at that time elected to the 16 member AMSA's Board of Directors as the Southwest Area Director. As of 2011, the total number of SUNTEP graduates with the Bachelor of Education degree surpassed 1,000. Scholarships awarded to Métis students by the Gabriel Dumont Scholarship Foundation hit $1 million. The importance of this history these critical milestones and this medal of distinction reaffirms to me that the vision of AMSA's team of leaders and managers at that time is well on its way to being realized. In retrospect, it also solidifies in my mind that in many ways, AMSA's was an indigenous organization ahead of its time. AMSA's was at the vanguard for the repatriation of Canada's constitution, created a global debate on indigenous rights from the British parliament and House of Lords in the hallowed halls, hallowed halls of the Vatican and at the United Nations in Geneva. AMSA's challenged and negotiated tirelessly with Canada's sitting prime ministers and premiers to recognize and embed Métis rights within Canada's constitution. AMSA's began the process of nation building long before it became today's catchphrase. We wanted to change the paradigm where development was viewed as an economic problem whose only solution is money from reactive measures like jobs and income. We want to be proactive, have government respond to our community plans and emphasize long-term payoffs for community well-being. We wanted a sustainable business environment where our success would be measured by social, cultural, political and economic impact. AMSIS wanted a future where the leader set vision, guidelines and policy. Importantly, we viewed development as a primary, a primary a political challenge. AMSIS wanted to apply solutions that would be built upon the creation of sound institutional capacity and foundations. We wanted strategic direction and informed action created by a wellspring of support from grassroots citizens who were informed, engaged, and invested in the outcomes. It could be said that this is ancient history, but 41 years later, I hold these beliefs to be not only true, but relevant. I am here to I'm here before you today, accepting this honor, but the spirit of this prestige medal lies with those present and past that had the vision, the courage, and the determination to build a flagship institution 
of Métis Nation building known as the Gabriel Dumont Institute. I want to acknowledge those that I've had the good fortune to work with over the years. To all of you from many Métis communities, large and small, who in my estimation still form the true core and heart of the Métis Nation. We, I remember, who stood with us shoulder to shoulder at protests, sit-ins, and demonstrations, who housed, fed, and inspired the leadership, and ultimately who framed the political agenda. I thank you for all of your good work and for making my journey so fulfilling and ensuring the success of the Gabriel Dumont Institute. Thank you. I would like to announce the order of Gabriel Dumont Gold Medal recipients who are receiving the award tonight as a team, Dennis and Jean Fisher. Sadly, Dennis passed away in October of 2020, but Jean will be accepting the award on behalf of both of them. For over 60 years, Dennis and Jean Fisher have been regarded as one and the same. Jean grew up on a farm near Purdue and Dennis on a farm near Hague. They were married in 1957 and built a life together that was rich in friends and family and deeply rooted in community. Dennis enjoyed a successful career in broadcasting as general manager of CFQC Radio. Jean raised three sons while volunteering in the community. She was president of the Saskatoon chapter of the Canadian Cancer Society in 1985. Dennis and Jean were enthusiastic and dedicated amateur historians of the 1885 resistance. Long before it was prohibited by law, they would wander the windswept fields of Batoche, Touron's Coulee, Gabriel's Crossing, Clark's Crossing, and Fort Carleton, collecting and documenting artifacts from significant sites of the resistance. This collection and much of their extensive library on the topic were donated to the Gabriel Dumont Institute and remain beautifully displayed there. Dennis was most proud to have been the chair of the committee that commemorated the centennial of the 1885 resistance and established the statue of Gabriel Dumont that stands in Friendship Park in Saskatoon. Dennis and Jean's efforts to honour Saskatchewan's history were recognized in many ways, including the Queen's Medal of 1977, the Saskatoon Centennial Medal in 1983, and the Canada 125 Medal. The Saskatoon and Area United Way recognized Dennis and Jean in 2004 as their annual dinner date honorees. Survived by Jean, Dennis passed away in 2020 at the age of 86. On behalf of myself, my late husband Dennis, and our entire family, it's my honor to accept the order of Gabriel Dumont Gold Medal. It breaks my heart that Dennis isn't here to share this with me. It is amazing to receive this gift of recognition for doing something that gave us so much pleasure over all those years. We spent many happy days with our three sons roaming the fields of Batoche and learning all we could about Gabriel Dumont and Louis Ruel. It was with the greatest respect that we collected the many artifacts we found. We kept books of Dennis's drawings and maps of our finds. We were glad that the Gabriel Dumont Institute accepted the collection and now displays it all so beautifully. I thank you on behalf of Dennis and myself and our entire family for this award. God bless you each and all. I would like to announce Order of Gabriel Dumont Gold Medal recipient, Nora Cummings. Senator Nora Cummings is a proud descendant of the Round Prairie Métis settlement just south of Saskatoon. She is a mother of nine, a grandmother, a great-grandmother, and a mentor to numerous people. Nora has promoted Métis culture and rights for her entire life. As the founder of the Saskatchewan Native Women's Association, she has also been involved in the creation of several other organizations, including Gabriel Dumont Local No. 11 and the Native Women's Association of Canada. She has always been a champion of children and as the president of the Saskatchewan Native Women's Association, she actively challenged the Saskatchewan government's Adopt Indian and Métis program, a policy designed to remove First Nations and Métis children from their homes and place them with non-Indigenous families during the 1960s, 70s and early 80s. 
1993, she became a senator for the Métis Nation Saskatchewan and is one of the few remaining senators. Nora has been recognized in several ways, including the Guy Bouvier Lifetime Achievement Award, the Queen's Golden Jubilee Award in 2002 for her service to Canada, the Saskatchewan Centennial Medal in 2005, Saskatchewan Volunteer Medal, Métis Award for Lifetime Achievement from the Weechi He Weishinan Foundation in 2012, inducted into the Saskatoon Women's Hall of Fame in 2019, and the Métis National Council Achievement Award in February 2020. Well, today is a special day for me. I, I'm uh, very honoured to have this award uh, bestowed upon me from the Gabriel Dumont Institute. Uh, I was uh, quite surprised when I when I was notified, and I'm I'm so honoured because I'll tell you, it's so important when your own people. I have a lot of awards, but I think when our people give us an award, that's very humbling to me because you realize that when your people are recognizing the work you've done or, or being able to work with people and, and work for the betterment of our people, it's, it's, a, it's very uh, exciting for me to come here and, and, and hold this up today. And especially our Gabriel Dumont Institute has been around for many years and, and, uh, and they've done a lot of good work within our community. And, and you know, our Métis people have, have done so many work and before me, um, we have so many people that have contributed to us as Métis people in, in over the years. And I remember when the Gabriel Dumont first started back in the early 70s and the work that's done. And the work, why I say that, the educational part, the, um, the research that's been done for our Dumont Institute and, and, and our people that were having that opportunity to write books and do stories and so there's a big history here and to be part of that history i'm very honored to be part of that history with with our people um i'm looking forward to being seeing more of our people and our young people our our, our younger people as well i am I'm, I'm a firm believer that our young people now has to take our lead role and and i know that there's many good good young people out there that are going to do that and are going to make sure that our Métis culture and our Métis people will live on forever. So I'm very honoured to have that opportunity here today to express my feelings. So um, when I look at this and I and I think about our people that are here no longer, the past people that have, have been here are now are not with us. And I want to say that it's just, this award is just not for Nora. It's for our people. It's for our people that mentored me and worked with me and I want to make sure that our people are recognized for that as well. You know it's my people that supported the support letters. Those are important as well. When 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 I look back and I think about um having that support in our community and especially in our Métis community, it's an honor to have that. And to have our young people nominate you is another thing that for me that that was the part that really um, humbled me and and I and I, I was talking to my daughter on Sunday night and she was so excited to see this and she was and I was telling her and she said you know it's so nice mom for you working with such young people and there's you're so loved and, and I do and I feel that and I feel the 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 strength from them and I feel the respect from from our, our people and I I feel you know all that good things that make you feel good. And, and, and I hope that continues on, not only for me, but for other people and other people that are, are given an award that are getting that same kind of strength and, and understanding from our people. On behalf of the Gabriel Dumont Institute staff, Board of Governors and students, I'd like to thank you for sharing in the successes of our Order of Gabriel Dumont Silver and Gold recipients tonight. Merci.